Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome to episode 95 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. So within this specific podcast episode we'll be discussing what you should be focused on as an advanced trainee, someone that has goals of building muscle and they have more than two years weight training experience. So I consider a beginner someone between zero to six months weight training experience and intermediate someone with six months to two years weight training experience and then an advanced training is is more than two years weight training experience. Now keep in mind that you could have a a spectrum within the advanced training. You could have between two and five years, five to ten years and ten to twenty years weight training experience. So you could almost split that advanced training up into more different levels. However the reason why I consider advanced training more than two years is just because at this stage they've already built the majority amount of muscle mass they're going to build throughout their training career. So keep in mind there's still plenty of room for improvement but they've already built 80 to 90 percent of their genetic potential within those first two years weight training experience. And if you're advanced training you've probably experienced this. Initially gains came easily. You were getting stronger, you're getting bigger pretty much every single session. Then after a certain period of time the gains started to slow down. This is why I've created this podcast for you to focus on a few different specific things it should really allow you to continue to see muscle gain. So I've got three specific things I think you should be focused on. The first thing is actually trying to bring up some of your weaker body parts. So after approximately two years weight training experience, you'll be in a position where you'll start to notice some lagging body parts. You'll start to notice that certain body parts just are not as developed as some of your dr- stronger body parts. And this is a great time to start to add more volume to train these body parts and more frequency to try and bring up these weaker body parts to give yourself more of a balanced physique. So therefore what you you would do is train them more frequently than your stronger body parts with more sets and exercises and this will help to bring up these areas. So for myself personally, some of my weaker body parts are my arms, shoulders and back and as such I train these body parts three times per week and then everything else, chest and legs, just twice per week because they are my stronger body parts. So that's what I'd suggest to you. Look at your physique and start to analyze what areas do you need to improve upon and then start to really tailor the program specific to those weaker body parts as opposed to following more of a generic style program that you maybe did previously which got you good results but at the advanced level you really want to be tailoring everything to you as an individual and to your weaker body parts. The second thing I want you to focus on is just by default as you become more advanced you just require more total volume to make progress. volume is sets times reps times load and as such you really need more more exercises more sets potentially more days training and adding more days training is a great way to easily add more volume without making your sessions any longer so for example if you were doing a four day per week routine previously you could transition to a five day per week routine and by default volume would go up because you've just got an extra days training with lots of sets and exercises so that would be another suggestion to focus on. If you've hit a a plateau, add more volume, add another day's training, add more sets and exercises, just because at the advanced level you just require a lot more volume than an intermediate or beginner trainee. And then you can also tailor that to those weaker body parts as well. So you can almost kill two birds with one stone here, i.e. adding more volume and then making that volume specific to some of those weaker body parts as well. The final thing I want you to focus on is focusing on the energy surplus specific for you as an advanced trainee. Now, when you're a beginner or, or an intermediate, you can really focus on a monthly weight gain target. Just because at this stage you don't have a lot of muscle mass on you, you're going to gain muscle at a pretty quick rate and therefore you can really minimize fat gain by focusing on a decently, decent monthly weight gain target. So for example as a beginner between 0 to 6 months weight training experience focus on a 1 to 3 pound per month gain an intermediate 1 to 2 pound per month gain who has 6 months to 2 years weight training experience. However as an advanced training just because you've already built a lot of muscle mass you don't have a huge amount of muscle mass left to build and as such it can actually be counterproductive having a monthly weight gain target just because it's, it's just go so easy to gain unnecessary body fat. So therefore for you as an advanced trainee my suggestion would be to actually focus on gym performance, getting stronger within the gym, focusing on increasing volume over time and then eating enough to recover from those sessions to make those strength and volume gains as opposed to having a monthly weight gain target. Now keep in mind that 
the scale will probably increase slightly over time but you don't really want to have a monthly pound two three pound target just because you're just going to gain a lot of body fat at this stage to so focus more on the gym performance are you eating enough to to recover from those sessions and make those strength and volume gains that should be your main focus so hopefully those three key points should really help you as an advanced trainer to continue to make progress to minimize fat gain and to develop some of those weaker body parts so hopefully they found that useful i look forward to speaking to you next week if you're still yet to download my free ebook how to set up a nutrition plan if you go to james layton l-a-y-2 and fitness.co.uk see a tab at the top of the page and you can download that free ebook immediately i look forward to speaking to you next week thank you very much